Hi everyone, welcome to Delights to Share and before we start, I'd just like to give you all a special thank you for watching and for helping me reach more than 1800 subscribers. Thanks a lot everyone. And let's get started with today's recipe. I'm making stuffed chicken breast, which I filled with ham, cheese, and a few other colorful ingredients. And then I rolled it up with bacon and I cooked it in the oven. Let's get started with the ingredients. I'm using two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, four slices of ham, I'm using black forest, and about 10 slices of bacon. I'm also using green onions, red peppers, raisins, green olives, cheddar cheese, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So first I place one chicken breast on a big piece of plastic wrap, making sure that you haven't ripped the wrap from the roll yet. I'll show you why in a few seconds. I'm going to butterfly the chicken breast. That means I'm going to just cut it open but not all the way through because I want the chicken breast to still be all in one piece. Once the breast is split open, I cover it, bringing the roll over and leaving ample space of wrap all around the breast so it can spread when I pound it. And here with a rolling pin, as you can see, I'm flattening the breast just by pounding it and rolling it. This will take about a minute of pounding, but eventually it'll be about double in size and about a fourth of inch thick. As you can see, it's useful to have extra plastic wrap all around so the chicken can spread out. Now I grab a piece of aluminum foil, about more than double the size of the breast, and I lay the breast on one side of the foil, the left side on your screen. And as you can see, the longest side of the breast is placed vertically on the foil. Now I add salt and pepper to taste. Then I place two slices of ham next to chunks of cheese. The cheese will serve to give flavor, but more importantly, to melt and then bind all the veggies together. You can use veggies of your choice. I'm using red peppers. And then I'm using green olives. For some sweetness, I add some raisins as well. And then I place a green onion, which I've sliced in half. Lastly, I add the five slices of bacon. As you can see, the meatier side is on the chicken and the fattier side is on the aluminum. And that's it for the filling. Now I'm going to gently roll, starting on the chicken side. And eventually the chicken is all rolled up and then I begin to roll the bacon around the chicken. Once the bacon is all wrapped around the chicken, I gently lift it and place it horizontally on the foil. I add just a bit of olive oil and then I fold the foil downwards towards the chicken. I want to fold as much as possible because the tighter the foil around the chicken, the more compact your roll of chicken is going to be. Then I flatten the foil on the sides and twist the ends upward so that way not many juices come out while baking. So here's one roll and I place it in a pan. Let me do a second breast for you. So first I butterfly the breast. I wrap it in plastic wrap and pound it. Season it with salt and pepper and then I add the fillings. Remember that the cheese will melt and bind all your ingredients. Um, I'm using cheddar, but you can use any flavorful cheese, for example, Gouda or Fontina. You can also change the veggies, for example, some spinach instead of the green onions. Now 
When I roll, some pieces of chicken can come off or olives pop out, but you can just place it back in since the foil will hold everything in place. Lastly, a bit of oil, and then I fold the foil tight all around the chicken. So here's the second roll in the pan, and off it goes to the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, here they're done. I untwist the ends of the foil, but I'm careful when opening it because there will be a lot of steam coming out. I'm using tongs just to help a little bit. As you can observe, there are a lot of juices that rendered while baking. This juice I'm going to use afterwards, but first I'm going to place the two rolls on a medium to hot skillet to crisp up the bacon a bit. Remember to save those juices, I'll show you why. So I turn the rolls on all four sides. This will take about four to five minutes until the bacon is a bit crispier all around. Once I'm happy with the crispiness, I go ahead and place it on a platter. But I still keep the heat on the pan. Now I'm going to add the juices from the two rolls into the pan, and I'm going to simmer it with the bits of bacon and fat for about three to four minutes. You'll find some cheese bits in there that will just blend away. Now I pour half of the simmered juices on the two stuffed chicken breasts. And now I'm going to cut it into about one inch slices. Absolutely beautiful. The bacon might be a little bit tougher to cut where the fat is. There we go, and then I lay the slices flat on the juices. As you can see, all the ingredients look wonderful inside. Finally, I drizzle the other half of the juices over these sliced chicken breasts. This recipe is packed full of flavor with the stuffing, the bacon, the juices, and the foil really helps keep the chicken moist and tender. All right, I'm ready to try it. Absolutely delicious. I hope you like this stuffed chicken breast recipe and give it a try yourself. It's really an easy, easy recipe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can share more recipes with you. Any questions or comments, let me know below and thanks for coming. See you next time.